Good to go. It's, uh, I will call the meeting to order. It is uh, 6.30. Thank you all for being here. We're closing it on the end um, of this round anyway. And we have a request for uh, Mr. No to go first. So Mr. No, I'll call on you, ask you to turn on your camera and unmute yourself. You've unmuted yourself. Yeah, I, can, can you hear me okay? I can hear you, yep. Does your camera work? Great, so, I'm sorry? Does your camera work? Yes, yes, I think this will work. Okay, I'm, I'm not seeing you yet, but uh, so uh, I don't. The, the video, the video isn't working, but I got the audio going. I think. Okay, but but you do not have the ability to turn your camera on. Uh, I can try. Let me see if I can reach out. Okay. Okay, you've turned off your microphone and your camera is still off, so let's let's just go ahead with the audio. Sorry, Jack, what's the uh, Bernard No. The first we're, we're taking Bernie No out of order because he has a subsequent uh, commitment. I, I need the password. I need the Oh. Can you send that what's to the connection to, to the Wi Fi? Oh, the, the Wi-Fi. Um, okay, that is, I believe it's the same. It's over there. City Hall. It's up there. It's on the wall behind you, but I can't read it either. I think it's still City Hall 9919. Lowercase 9919.1. City Hall. City Hall. Lowercase. Nine nine, three nine nine one nine exclamation. Thank you. Can you send the link to Kim too? And Kim John is sending you the link right now. Okay, so Mr. No, if you can hear me, I'd like you to turn on your microphone and then we can get started. There we go. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Yes. Great. Super. And I'd like you to raise your right hand. Do you solemnly affirm subject to the pains and penalties of perjury? That the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, I do. Okay, great. So um, we have a set of questions that uh, that I'll go over with you, but I'd like to start by just having you tell us uh, what the basis for your abatement request is. Yeah. So I own a, a four. Four family, four family or four, or four, or four, or four, or four apartment, apartment building, building on, State on State Street across, Street, across the river from the high school, school that flooded with the July the flood. flood. Uh, there was a uh, foot of water, water into the first into floor. floor. Uh, uh, this uh, made three apartments, three apartments completely un uninhabitable. Uh, and a fourth apartment is on the, on the second floor, but it has a first floor entryway that got flooded and there was no, there was no uh, water or electric for a period of time in the building. So that fourth apartment was uh, out of service for a shorter period of time. The net result was a substantial loss in income. And as I understand it, the, um, the assessment upon which the taxes are based for uh, commercial properties are based uh, uh, rather significantly on the the income that a commercial property produces. And since this property produced substantially less income in 2023 because of the flood, I believe it, uh, uh, I hope it would be eligible for a uh, an abatement of some of those taxes. Okay, great. And I did, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. 
I was just going to say, I'm going to take four minutes. I, I gave some numbers and some breakdown and a, and a request. I presume you have that in front of you. I do, yes. Um, and I can tell you um, we have a set of standard questions that we've been asking every uh, person who's requested an abatement. We, our plan is not to make a decision today, but to take uh, the information that you give us and the information that all the other taxpayers give us. And, uh, and then at the end of this process, which is coming right up, we will have a deliberative session at which we will consider the facts of all of the properties so that we are sure that everyone is being treated uh, fairly and consistently. And I'll ask you a set of questions, and if uh, other members have more questions to ask, so they can follow along. Um, was there a 50% or greater loss of value to the primary structure of the property? No, there was no, not. There was it not. didn't meet the conditions that, so that it, substantial damage, so that it has to be so raised. Okay. Uh, was there a loss of use? Of the by the property owner of the primary structure for 60 days or more. Yes. Yes. Was there a loss of access to utilities for 60 days or more? No. No. Okay. And the property. Well, does he? Well, does he? Well, does he, does he, he, he sorry, hold on. Utility. Utility. Yeah, of course, probably. It, it, didn't need, it didn't need. It didn't need. It didn't need that time here, but, but there was no there was no heat for 60 days, although it wasn't needed. Was so so I, don't I don't know how to interpret that. that. Right, because because you have some deliver deliverable fuel fuel oil or something, and that was out of service. Yes. That's yes. Right. That's uh, right. But you did, didn't experience an interruption of water or, or electric or telephone for more than 60 days. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. Um, it was never condemned, right? That is correct. That is correct. Um, I'm skipping over the next question uh, about outbuilding only. Uh, has there been income loss? And is that? Yeah, there, 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 there has. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Is that shown here in what you uh, filed? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, there was. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Shown in the paperwork. I paperwork I submitted. And that's fourteen thousand eighty-five dollars. Is that right? Let me just. Let me just. I've got that form here. Here. Sounds like that. Sounds right. Sounds right. Yes. Yes. Okay. And your in your abatement request is nineteen thirty-three. Yes. And I do just want to add that. And I said that the, the, my loss of my loss was 23 and a half percent. Um, but that was um, a that was gross, gross income, income. And, and I'm pretty I'm sure pretty that the tax, that the tax assessments, assessments are based on, based on net income. income. And, and you know the net income is about half the gross income. So it's actually about 47 percent of my net income was lost due to the flood. So I'm not going to now change this and ask for a greater payment, but just when you're when you're thinking of my my abatement request in the context, it is it's actually uh, it's actually substantially less than 23 percent of my of my of the net income. Okay, thanks. Um, I should say I should mention one thing that you uh, have been mentioning uh, your assessment, and I just want you to uh, keep in mind that uh, this proceeding tonight is not going to result in any change in your assessment, just in uh, potentially an abatement of some of the taxes. Uh, no, I understand. No, that I understand that completely. completely. And that's why I said it was it's, 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 that's that's a point upon which the taxes are based. Taxes are based. So, yes, so I, yes, I get, I, I get that. Thank okay, you. Okay, good. And uh, we, should, we should have the total square footage and the square footage of the damaged areas in the, uh, on the property card. Okay, folks, anyone have any other questions? Okay, we, we, we got all the information we need from you, so we are all set and we will get you your decision. Thank you. Great, thanks so much for your time. You're welcome, bye now. Bye-bye. All right, next up, you can go back to the top of the list. Uh, 
Yeah. Kelly Sullivan. Come on up. Why don't you come on up here? Hi. Do you solemnly affirm subject to the pains and penalties of perjury? The testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Great. Now, you, you kind of know the, the drill because you've just watched what happened. Uh, you want to give us a brief overview of the basis for your claim? Um, sure. So um, I um, owned, okay, I sold in December, but I owned 68 Main Street. Um, and that is um, where Notion Fabric was. And um, so come the flood, um, Mary Margaret from Notion had paid me for the July rent, but then after that, um, I didn't ask her for August rent, obviously, and then it continued on where she ended up leaving the space because I couldn't find workers to do the work that was needed. Um, so the loss that I experienced is um, rental loss. Um, that is averaging about $8,800 okay. for the four months that I owned it. And I'll go over all the questions. Did you have a 50% or greater loss of the value of the property? No, I did not. Um, was there loss of the primary structure, you know, loss of use of the primary structure for more than 60 days? Yes, there was. And mainly because you, you couldn't get workers in to get it rehabbed. That's right. And do you know what the time, when the place became usable again? Um, it became usable um, in December, right as um, um, the buyer was buying the property from me. So that was my goal to get it done. And uh -huh. Great. Um, did you lose access to utilities for 60 days or more? I did. And which utilities did you lose? Well, my Renai heater um, was lost in the flood, so we had no way to heat. Can you speak up a little, please? Sure. Um, so we had no Renai heater that was um, lost in the flood, so um, Gillespie Fuels replaced that. Um, but that was after, thir after 60 days. Um, and we did have power um, after about 30 days. Mm -hmm. uh, Property was never condemned. Um, I it was not. Yeah. Um, and the income loss you said was eighty eight hundred. Yes. And we'll have the information about the total square footage. Okay. Any m members have any questions? What was actually damaged in your property? Um, well, the floors. And the walls were severely damaged. We had to pull out the floors. And as we were pulling out, we just had to keep going and going because the layers of floor that was there, we went right down to the beams. And the walls and the doors, both doors, and the heater and the water heater. And I'm sorry I missed it, but how long did it take to get that? Um, well, my goal was to sell it by December 1st to Lucky Boardman, and so I was able to get it done right before. Um, that being said, um, the fire that happened at Mad Taco, um, it did affect my space because um, they had to go in and um, cut open the walls again, and so still one of the doors is not replaced from that fire. Okay. And what does the door access to? It actually um, accesses into J Jesse Jacobs space upstairs. So the front door was axed down and I had to replace that door and then the door going into Jesse Jacobs space and then some walls. Seems to me we should consider the fire as another disaster in this case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My assumption, though, is that the fire wouldn't count for the state uh, abatement. Yeah, that's what so, I would say. Yeah, because it's separate. Uh-huh. criteria is already met. Yeah, part of the reason we're asking these specific questions is that there's legislation going on over uh, on State Street to enable us, the city to get reimbursed for some of this stuff that we're doing. But if that's related to the flooding, not to the fire, of course. 
Can you, Donna? What, you referred to some numbers. I didn't see any cost in the paperwork I got. Is there some cost? Of your repairs. I can such. submit that tomorrow, actually. Um, I Did I submit anything? It was a few months ago when I um, was told it's, I should come to it's this. It's pretty limited. Okay, yes. so I can add to that. Okay. Okay. We'll accept that uh, afterwards. Any other questions? So, are, your, are your utilities, like your electrical panel and your water heater, are they all out of the basement? Or where, yes, where are they, they are. They are, okay. And we have moved all of the outlets up four feet in the space. But they, at the time of the flood, the panel was above, out of the basement. It was like on um, the first floor. Well, the water heater was in the basement. So that was damaged. That was and the yeah. and the electrical panel. And the electrical panel um, was also um, no, it was on the first floor first actually. Floor. Okay. So it was okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Nobody else has any questions. I think we're set. Okay. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. I get time. Next up, we have Kathleen Sweeten. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, you don't look like Kathleen. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You solemnly affirm subject to the pains and penalties of perjury. The testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. Okay, so why don't you tell us who you are? Sure. Uh, uh, Peter Tucker, I'm here uh, representing the Vermont Association of Realtors that own the, pro own the property at, at 148 State Street. Um, you know, just kind of a brief description. In the July flood, we had 23 and a half inches of water on the main floor. <laughs> the basement was completely submerged. Um, and uh, we cleaned it out, and it just has been, it hasn't been used since the flood. And why is it? Not, has it not been used since the flood? Is it usable or? I mean, we four feet up on the walls and, you know, all the utilities were in the basement. We did get um, power reestablished. It was around 60 days, temporary power. We had to put in a new service and, and move the box up. Um, the decision was made not to, you know, it's a word. We're owned by a board of the board of realtors, and you know the the board of directors needed to contemplate you know what is the future for the building, and so that took time. And but uh, you know we've basically been out since July 11th. Okay, and since we're talking about making a choice about whether to reoccupy the building, or not, do you have a date in mind of when the building would have been usable again? Um, I would have, uh, let's see, because we did get a, a quote from a builder, and you know, I think that it would have been January, February. You know, oh, so it's not usable yet because you haven't done the work, is that? We didn't do the work. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And just, I mean, what we did do is we did actually sell the property at the beginning of Ju Ju uh, January. Okay. You know, without without the repairs being done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rosie and then Donna. It looks to me from the paperwork like they're just requesting personal property mm -hmm. abatement. Right. Are they also requesting? Thank you. Yeah, um, that's all. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So all you're asking for is the personal property that was lost in the flood. Kathy, I wish Kathy was here to, to tell you what we're asking for. Yeah, but I, at this point, I believe that is correct. Yes. So computers, office furniture. All the thing. furniture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. So it's, so it's not the building. If you just think this is, this is what happened with someone else, if, if they building. thought they were doing the building, and we had them retroactively fill out. Uh -huh. So I think we're allowing people to resubmit if they're yeah. So is that something you want to talk to the landlord about, the former owner, to see if she wants abatement for the building itself too. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we are the former, I mean, we are, right. you know, yeah. but there's, but Kathy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it is possible to request an abatement for real property tax too, based on the damage to the building. But if someone wants to make a motion to abate the personal property tax. I'll make the motion, mm -hmm. $361.76. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Hi. Any opposed? Okay. Uh, I need to abstain, Jack. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> You're probably a member. I am? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we want to go ahead and ask the other questions so that they don't have to come back in if they decide to? If you don't mind. Do you know the answers to the other questions? Yes, I do. Okay. Yep. Uh, Thank so. you. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll, we'll look for that for documentation after, the, after tonight. Right. So is there a 50% or greater loss in the value of the primary structure? No. Was there loss of use for 60 days or more? Yes. Was there loss of access to utilities for 60 days or more? Uh, yes. Not condemned? No. Um, was there income loss to the property? We had a tenant upstairs, so we did lose that income. Uh huh. And do you know how much that was? It, I, it was 1,100 per month. So I would say, you know, that the you know August to December would be the the claim. Okay. You know, 5,500. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we'll have the information about the square footage on the, on your property card. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you could get me another, you can contact me, but we would need another one of those forms filled out, but with the, the, the real estate. Understood. The property. Mm -hmm. Just okay. give, me, give me a call or something tomorrow. Gotcha. Great. Take care I of actually it. need to look at the record, so maybe oh. I'll stop by and. Okay. Yeah. Anything else for anyone? Okay. For me? Thanks for coming. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Yes. Yep. Appreciate it. As we've been going, we get get more efficient and making it less painless for people. So <laughs> we're less painful for people. Less painless. Uh, Katie Swick. Okay. Hi, would you uh, solemnly affirm subject to the pains and penalties of perjury if the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. I okay, do. why don't you Tell us um, yeah, I live at 127 Elm Street, and I had 32 inches of water in my first floor, um, and that's where my daughters and I were living at the time in the first floor, um, and it's a, a substantial damage list, so it's waiting funding to be raised up, so um, nothing has been worked on in the home electricity hasn't been moved. There's electricity in the upstairs, um, but there's no heating system. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. You don't, what happens in this case doesn't depend on your answer to this question, but are you planning on uh, take, going for a buyout or, or elevating the property? I'm waiting to see what happens yeah. with funding. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay, so I will go over the questions. I think okay. you probably know the answer. 50% or greater loss in value? Yes. 66%. Mm -hmm. Loss of the primary structure, use of the primary structure for 60 days or more? Yes. Um, loss of utilities for 60 days or more? Yes. Um, not really condemned, but you've got right. the substantial damage. Mm -hmm. And it's not a commercial property? No, but I do have a loss of income. Okay, and what's the in loss of income? Uh, I had a rental upstairs, and that's like $12,000 or so. 12000 Gross, uh -huh. right. Since okay. July, I haven't rented it because there's no heating system. Anyone else have any other questions? Um, Rosie. I should just note that um, Katie is a friend of mine. I feel like I can be um, impartial, but I wanted to note that conflict of interest potential. Um, and I also wanted to note that last meeting we talked about treating the substantial damage folks differently and making a decision today because property taxes are due tomorrow. So I just didn't want Katie to leave without question. us yes. having that conversation in front uh -huh. of her. Yes, we had, just, we had talked about that. And, uh, we did that. We, we, we did. We granted some uh, last week, didn't we? No, we didn't no, actually no, grant them. No. We did. Yeah. Okay. Because we had more. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we have at least right. one more. We wanted to, but we thought we should. We would have done a report if we had it. Mary, 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 the last Mary, is also on that list. Yeah. Mary's also on the list. And so, yeah, so, okay, so I think what's going to happen is that you're going to 
get a vote on that tonight, and okay. you, you can stay or not. But okay. 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 Any other? We mean it your favor. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Karen Williams. So we're set. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Do you solemnly affirm the subject of the pains and penalties of perjury? Testimony about the truth, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Great. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think we're out of order here, so here we go. Why don't you give us the overview? Well, it's at 24 State Street. Um, my business was there. We got 25, 26 inches of uh, water. Um, I lost about $53,000 in inventory. It's been, um, I moved across the street because I knew it would be quicker to reopen because I really needed to get open to mm -hmm. you know, generate funds because I have talked to somebody actually about, they finally uh, came back to me with an estimate today about how much it's gonna cost to, uh, to fix it. To be, it's about 200,000, so. <laughs> yeah. So. It'll take a little while, but I'm, I want to get it there because I don't want an empty space. But yeah. I also, yeah. Um. And, and this is kind of a the flip side of one of the other uh, cases. Um, I don't think we got a request for personal property tax abatement. It's not personal, it's a commercial space. So. But but the inventory is personal property. Do we, oh, I don't do we know. tax uh, but that's inventory not. as personal property? That's, yeah, that's, I don't know if she would have meant the first <coughs> because yeah. it's mostly shelves and well, the, a little bit of computer. The, there's no, no oh, yeah, right. the, you're talking, your inventory that you talk about is the one that I fill out every year that's not really much because right. it's, it diminishes at a, it depreciates. Yeah, okay. it depreciates. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Correct. Yeah, I lost about that was like fifteen grand, but yeah, I mean to replace. Yeah, so. Okay. Hmm. Uh, well, again, it would be helpful to have some real numbers now that you have some numbers you can pass on to us. Okay. You know, I know. I don't even know what I filled out before. I can't remember what that was. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what you filled out. <laughs> very before. simple. <laughs> oh, it was a while ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. So, so the yes, lost inventory and damage to your building would be helpful to get cost right. information. And do you, is it also loss of uh, income? Is that, oh, yes. sorry, yeah, that yes, it is. Yes. Okay. And so we'll go over all the questions. With okay, you. sure. Uh, sorry. Was there a great loss of 50% or greater in the value of the primary structure? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'm sorry. No. I don't think so. I, yeah. No. I'm, because there's also the upper floors. Correct. Yeah. Well, it's a condo, though. Yes, so it it's, a, it's like, I think it's the only condo unit in downtown. Yes. Okay, so you're... I'm you like, I own 11% own. of the building itself. So you only own the first floor. Just the, that the one store spot. Space. Yeah, yeah, Carlo mm -hmm. Pazdapai owns next to me. Hmm. And he's got, yeah, he has two thirds. I have one third of the first floor. Okay, yeah. and then... Yeah, and the then Rod stage. Sherman and then the Vermont Ski Association. Oh, okay, and they, they're also condo uh, units up there? Yeah. Cool. Didn't know that. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. Expert, your expertise. <laughs> they had a hard time with the, okay. yeah, so you're reconfiguring that. the taxes. Yeah. yeah. Um, was there loss of use for yes. 60 days or more? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, is it usable now? No. no. Was there loss of uh, access to utilities for more than 60 days or more? Um, I replaced, had to replace all the electric. It was actually knob, knob and tube still. And uh, so had to replace that. Then the, even the meter, even though it was outside, it was up like two and a half feet. They requested it go up further. So we, I put that up as well. Mm -hmm. So had to replace all the electric. That was done by mid-September. I think some of it was done in August and some in August, yeah, September. So. Mm -hmm. Um, and the heat, yeah, the furnace was, I don't think they fixed that until October, November. I think, yeah, no mid-November, so. Uh -huh. And then, of course, December flood. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Um, 
income loss, you're going to get us figures for that? $192,000. Okay. Well, that's more than 50% of the value. I know. I know how much it was. Cause I <laughs> so, well. Yes, that was the loss of income for the year. Okay. Anyone else have any questions? Just thinking kind of a sense of what's going on. Is it you see it being open before June thirtieth being usable or is it um not because I don't I don't have the funds. I, I can't I can't come up with that much money between now and then. I'm hoping it'll you know, maybe in twelve months. I don't know. I didn't accept the FEMA loan because it was about twenty five documents, eight pages long, signing my life away and I really didn't so yeah, I probably have to go through the bank. I also don't think that I can get workers to do the work that needs to be done. I mean, but I am working. We're starting it next week. It was supposed to start this week, mm -hmm. um, but just putting in the replacing the bathroom and uh, re-insulating the back wall and the windows is going to be about thirty thousand dollars just to do that. So yeah, just that's a one step. Okay. So yeah, so maybe, but I don't. I'd love for it to be. You know, usable by then. Well, we're just looking at abating taxes. I abating yes, tax that's June thirtieth, so it's not going to be functional. But I know. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, wish I could give you that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good to This is just a little peripheral. It's unusual for me to know about a condo building. Mm -hmm. So, were the other sections of this? Structure that are the other condos, or they also well, Carlo, store? positive pie, the same back wall issue. Um, he's got. I mean, we had to replace the wall in between the two of us with cinder block because it was, you know, taking it out just completely. Yeah, and we could see into each other's spaces. But the back wall that I'm doing, yes, I mean, it's different than what he's got going on. Um, yeah. yeah. So, and then the furnace, which personally, I want to, I want to do a heat pump in my space because I think it's stupid to keep putting money into the furnace, but it's difficult for every, you know, I, as I said, I only own 11%, so I don't have that big of a say, but I'm gonna put a heat pump in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? Okay, thanks a lot for oh. coming in. Hey, thank you, guys. Mary Zentara. Don't see Mary here. She is. Oh, Hi. Hi, Mary. Good. I, I saw your name on screen earlier, so and I just forgot. So, would you raise your right hand? Would you solemnly affirm, subject to the pains and penalties of perjury, that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay. Great. Um, Want to give us a brief overview? <coughs> Sure. My home at 189 State Street, across from the high school playing fields, flooded in July into the first floor, and the city of Montpelier has deemed my home substantially damaged. So I have been in limbo with an unlivable space. Um, it's down two studs on the first floor, no key, no kitchen, no bathroom unlivable home. Um, I have been displaced and am living elsewhere. And like the others, you're waiting to find out what's going to happen. Yes. Okay. And I, th I think I know the answers to all or most of these questions. 50 hey. percent, but I'll go over them in any sure. way. Was there a 50% or greater loss in value to the primary structure? Yes. Was there a loss of uh, use of the property for more than 60 days? Clearly, yes. Yes. Uh, loss of utilities to the primary structure for more than yes. 60 days? Okay. Um, is there any commercial property in this property? There is not. Okay. Um, I think that answers all the questions we need to have answers. Does anyone help have any other questions? Is there a, a 
formula for determining the amount of the rebate or abatement? Well, that was one of the things that we were uh, going to discuss you know, at, at our last meeting. One of the questions that was raised was for properties that uh, have been declared substantially damaged, what do we do about the land portion of the tax? And I don't think we come, came to a decision of that. So that's part of the conversation. That sounds like an unanswerable question unless you can predict an extra love. Well, every question has to be answered whether it's unanswerable or not. I do have tax bill information um, with me if, there, if the bill wasn't included, but I think most of them have been included. Yep, and that it's included here. Anybody have any other questions to raise? Okay, we are set, Mary. We will, uh, I think our intention is to make a decision on all the substantially damaged properties tonight. Oh, wonderful. But and then how would, how would we be notified? By the clerk. Yep. Okay. I'll, I'll send something out. Uh, okay, great. Thank you all so much. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in. And Robert Walker. Okay, you raise your right hand. Do you solemnly affirm, subject to the painting penalties of perjury, that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. Great. Why don't you tell us um, what your uh, request for abatement is about? Oh. Well, I'd like everybody else. I'm not asking for any money. I've got quite a lot of uh, it's coming from Efficiency Vermont and the credit union down here. But what I'm questioning is the value of the house and to repeatedly be paying taxes on what I think is overvalued. So I guess I would like some kind of a reappraisal if that's possible, considering the conditions have changed. Okay, what I can tell you is that uh, the purpose of the authority and the purpose of this body, which is the Board of Abatement, is to consider requests for property tax abatements based on a whole list of uh, reasons set forth in, in the law. Um, there's another body, which is almost all the same people, called the uh, Board of Civil Authority, that every year hears appeals from people's property tax assessments. And, and every year, the, the city publishes the, uh, the assessments of everyone's properties. And when you get that assessment, you have uh, a, a limited time to file a request, file your appeal. And, and then there's a, there would be a hearing held on that. That's not this body. And, and the time to do that for the current tax year has already gone by. So we don't have the ability to do what you're talking about this time around. However, every year when you get your property tax bill, mm -hmm. you also get a new chance to appeal. Yeah, I, I understand that and I didn't question it. And the reason being, it was before I had seven feet of water in my basement. <laughs> and I think that changed the whole well, the whole outlook of it did for me in the end. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine a house being worth as much now as what it was before. And which yeah. I questioned whether it was and Councilman Heaney tried to sell it if you remember I do. quite a few years ago. How many bids did you get? That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Same house. Yeah. Different and, market though. And that's true. Do, what I'm gonna do is that uh, it's since you indicated here that you uh, that you believe that you are entitled. To, no, no matter what you said here, what you what you filled out on the form is that you believe that you're entitled to an abatement because your property was lost or damaged or destroyed during the tax year. And so, what I want to do is go over the questions mm -hmm. uh, and see if you may be entitled to an abatement, even though you came in here thinking that's not what you were asking for. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. And so, the, it's the same questions I've asked the other people tonight. Do you think there was a 50% or greater loss in value uh, to the primary structure due to the flood? No. And did you lose the use of the pr primary structure for 60 days or more because of the flood? I didn't lose it, but I didn't have any heat until, well, it was 28 degrees inside at Thanksgiving time. Uh, it was a rather chilly turkey. Uh -huh. But you never, you never moved out? You never stopped living there? Well, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you lose uh, utility service to the property for 60 days or more? Well, I didn't have any heat for 60 days or more. I didn't have... A, a, I had electricity, but they were moving it upstairs, but it took longer than 60 days. But I did have electricity, and but I had the hot water heater. <clears throat> but it took more than 60 days to get the electricity back on? Not the electricity, the heat. It took more than 60 days to move it. It's now outside, up in the first floor. Gotcha. Yeah, I got a new box. It's just a junction box downstairs. Uh-huh. Um, was there any... Uh, Commercial use in this property? Is this just your home? No, just my home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does anyone else have any other questions? Donna. Well, again, he's, you've mentioned your furnace and your oil tank and your water heater, but there's no cost. So well, no, they, they were. We would like to use some medicine costs that would help. Yeah, the whole co coalition took uh, care of it. I'm not, that right. was. We just want to, I mean, for me, it's important to, to know what you actually expend, expended for this. Well, the only years. thing that I spent actually was to get the hot water heater. Uh, okay. uh, well, I forget what they call it, refurb refurbished, which was a little over $300, but I'm not too worried about that. But you didn't have out-of-pocket expenses to replace the furnace and that kind of thing? No, that was all taken care of by this. Well, it is basically a whole foundation through uh, the efficiency of Vermont, I guess. It's very complicated. Yeah. And I, I don't know where all the money came from, but it basically it came from the credit union down here it is. Uh -huh. And was that a loan or a grant? No, it was a grant. Okay. Well, that's great. Yeah, I remember when I suggested you might want to look at abatement. It was before some of that money came in. That's great news. I had no idea yeah. how it was going. That's terrific. Well, I didn't have any help at all on that. I mean, uh, Capstone was worse than worthless, as far as I'm concerned. Efficiency Vermont, got, uh, I got hold of the whole coalition, it's called, and they work in through Efficiency Vermont, and somehow the money comes out of the credit union down there by the high school. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Great. So. Well, okay. Well, we will. Uh, Anyone have any other questions? I think we're set. So it was just Rosie. the basement, right? Is that my understanding? The first yeah. floor wasn't impacted, but the basement was impacted. Just, yeah. And just the basement. And do you have living space in the basement, or? Um, no, I don't have anything in the basement no more. Previously, <laughs> yeah. was it? No, there was nothing but uh, the utilities, which are. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for coming in. No, we will you. get a decision to you. Okay, thank you for your You're welcome. <laughs>
I don't have that list. Uh, I could, should have gotten Michael that. Miller had one. Mike would have it. Mike's I don't know. I probably have an email. Well, me too. I may have a list at one point. Do you know if we're able to do that quote unquote class action thing yet? Because he has like eight properties. There were five that were residential, right? Yeah, and then there were some commercials and one empty building. Do we think there are some who have not been in yet? Yeah. I feel very certain of that. The ones we have. Else, but I don't know if it's in my place to well, say the names or not. Sure, if, if it includes all the properties that are on there. Tyson Brown, maybe. Alex Nazduk, Reno, Christopher Coffin, Ed Haggard, me, Sigroy, I don't know. Brent Curtis, Mary, Cintura, and Catherine. Yeah, I don't know. Those names sound familiar? Well, Some of them do. Ed, Lisa, Bird, Bernie, and Mary are all in a row. And then the historical house is in that same row in State Street. Do, but we don't have the ability to abate anybody who hasn't, who hasn't been here. Yet. Right. Yeah, they need to make a request. Yes. Do you think there are some that are substantially damaged that didn't even file? Oh, yeah. I have no question of that, and I'm not sure why. I can try to reach out to them. Maybe we just did not get the word out loudly enough about abatement. I feel like we were saying it. We continue to say it every time we turn around. But yeah. <laughs> I talked to her way back when, because I went, when I went to visit the houses. Mm -hmm. so, and that's when I found out that the weird cat category for historical mm -hmm. structures, even though they are substantially damaged, they don't get categorized that mm -hmm. way. Yep. It's weird. So I've seen three at least, Tara, Swick, and Haggard. Haggard. And then, Haggard. And then I had down that Nouveau was not substantially damaged, but functionally for all intents oh, no, and purposes. Yes, but, no. Was. No, she, that's why she has to raise her house. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, she, why I wrote she's that down. wiped out. She, I mean, yeah. literally, she's the one that has literally yeah. she, a sink on two by fours. I mean, right. yeah, yeah, no. Okay. So we've got four. So there's four, yeah. There's, there's, and I can't think of any others. Moody. Anything else on Elm besides Katie? Was there? there yeah. Yeah, Katie on Elm. Is on there are also, I think the rest were historic, so they didn't. Yeah, I don't think so, you know, except we had Paul LaFalle, but uh, that wasn't substantially damaged. Right. And it's a commercial property anyway. That's more like Bernie Nowies, right? I mean, the right. way I just heard tonight, they're kind of the same. Category. I have an That's email from Mike saying there are eight, eight properties that were, well, yeah, yeah. that were determined to be substantially damaged. Right. The four that we have. Lisa just said yes, she was substantially damaged. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Of course, she got the letter. Yeah. Of that eight, some of those are commercial. There's a, vacant, there's a vacant house on Barry Street. Um, there's the old Humane Society building yeah, on the similar. island. Yes. Yeah. There's 146 <laughs> State Street, <laughs> which is a vacant commercial building. And the Casella Administrative Building. That's the eight that he listed when I asked him. And this was so of the ones who have come to us not too Ed, long ago, Lisa January 9th. And, and, and who's Lisa? Lisa? What's the last name? That's Kate. Uh, yes. Nibo. Oh, okay. We I have had, four. I was thinking yeah, Jeffrey. Right. There's four homes that people were living in. Yeah. Okay. That's so we go ahead and take action on oh, those goodness. four. Yeah. Because we've heard them, we have the information. Uh huh. And we've cool. determined. For sure, those qualify. The the home value qualifies for the state uh, reimbursement. Do we know if the land value qualifies for the state reimbursement? I do not. 
do we want to make a decision to grant that and take the risk and the city will <laughs> absorb the cost yeah, of it. Yeah, I'm in favor of that. It's the worst of the worst. Yeah. 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 So so much much for all of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the, through June or just through the first two quarters? I think we need to go ahead yeah, I would think the whole year. I make a motion that we abate their taxes for the whole year starting to show up. Is it July 1? Is it yeah, or July, yeah. July 10th? July 10th, right? whatever the date of July the, 11th. the date of the flood. Yeah. 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 So the entire tax bill. Yeah. Well, uh, starting I July 11th. Starting July 11th. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry, I would start July. Just okay. started, yeah. Which is going to be really this close. new year. It's this a little bit we can year. do. Yeah, the yeah, whole year. That, so that was, my motion was even my motion was even seconded yeah. is that we abate the whole 2025 tax bill. The 23 to 24. 24 yeah. 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 July. To, yes. Is there is a second? June of next year. No, I'm not seconding. No, oh, okay. No. Can, we, can, we, can we list the four properties in the motion? <laughs> yes. And the four properties are 189 State Street, 127 Elm Street. Haggett is 197. 197. And Nibu? 195. 195. Yeah. Okay. State. Okay. Is I'm there a second? State. Second. Okay. Carrie. So just so we're just so we're clear, um, that I think that if we abate the taxes for the first you know, ten days of July, that the state will not let us off the hook for that portion. So we will have to pay the state education tax for that portion. Would be my assumption. Well, the, the motion got changed for it's the tax bill, the twenty three to twenty four entire tax bill. Yep. So rather than which begins at the beginning of the fiscal year. Um, so it's it's a fiscal year based bill, right? That's She's right. Well, I, I know, that the fund was but I think that the that the states, for, you know, covering the education part, the state it's, it's tied to the flood damage. So I don't think the state's going to say, well, you just decided to abate the first ten days of the of the bill. I'm aware of that. But that's yeah. So just that we we will still be on the hook for that as a city. It's not very much. I'm not saying we shouldn't yeah. do it, but just to be clear that that's what we're doing. It's going to be very hard to parse out. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can do it. But. I don't think it should be hard to parse out at all. It's just math. Figure out just math. what the rate per day. Yeah. I per day. Say. Yeah. I guess you figure out the rate per day, and then you got it. Yeah. I also wanted to, um, some of them had income sensitivity, and so I, do we have to abate the tax bill less the amount of income sensitivity none or abate? Sensitive. None. I, I'm not sure about that. Well, I'm assuming we're abating net tax owed. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because some I've got one here. That right. The state. Maybe not, not, they went for abatement. They had income sensitivity, but they didn't have income per se. Can we amend the, the commercial property? Oh, no, 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 no. I was talking about the state's income sensitivity on the property. So the city has already received payment for the income sensitivity right. portion. So We're not abating that. We're abating. The bill. The motion, the bill. Great. The net bill. I understand. The net, bill. <laughs> net, net, net bill. Okay, put the net in there. Can we amend, yeah, amend the motion to say the net, net tax bill? Net tax bill. Uh -huh. uh, probably this is not a question, but some of these properties are paid by escrow. That's, do we have to consider that, sending the money back to where it came from, or we don't? Huh. I think that's an administrative question more than anything else, okay. but. That's going to land on your lap. Well, my thinking is. It's a Sarah is, question. You let her make a decision. <laughs> my, my thinking is that even if it's, uh, it's paid out of an escrow account, then the money comes from the, oh. the yeah. property owner. Yeah, it goes back to them. Yeah. So yeah. Is everybody happy with where we are on this? Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> and did, you, did you? I think you just said this right. It was the the vacant single family. Oh, the other four 
other the other one was the active commercial building Casella and then the vacant commercial at one forty six. Yeah, we haven't heard we haven't heard from any of the other like we're here. We haven't heard from the fresh meeting yeah. next week. Okay. It's because of the way it worked out. Jack, can we get a written statement of what the motion was and Karen? Uh, move to abate the uh, entire net tax bill, or tax bill on net tax owed, excuse me. For these four, four houses. houses. For these four houses. So yeah, so that'll come out, and John will write that up. It'll be in the minutes. Yeah. And, um, okay. and I'll get out all those reports for folks tomorrow. Do, you want, do, do I need to come in and sign them? Um, I have it set up so I can sign. Oh, okay. I just thought I might as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case. Can we need to figure out when we're meeting this. Sorry, I thought you were adjourning us. <laughs> I, I, I was going to you adjourned. So. Thanks, everybody. Oh, thank you. Glad to do this a little. Um, that was insanely fast, you all. If it had been like this every other meeting, we holy crap, that yeah. was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, these are substantially damaged. Oh. Yeah. So okay. So now we have four more on for uh, next week. And then we need to decide when to do the deliberative session, right? Are we begin to do it next week. How about right now? Everybody okay with doing the deliberative session next week after all of these? Recognizing that you know, we just go until we're done? I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna okay. remote for that one. How many do we do we have? I don't see it on the agenda, that's why I'm asking. Right. Agenda, you mean how many total do we have? No, how many more do we have for next week? Oh, uh, oh. four. Two of them are the same uh, palette. And at least one of them does not have to do with the flood. Okay, and where is that? Um, where would I find that? It's, it's in this thing, stack of papers that John brought in tonight. Yeah. If you didn't, it went out electronically, but if you didn't grab one, well, did it go out electronically? No, it didn't come from Sarah. No, it didn't go electronically. Yeah, this way. Okay, we can grab one. It was electronic. Right, right. But there was another one that went out along a ways back. Oh, yeah. What does it look like? Sorry. I have plenty more too. I think these went out like a while ago, so we didn't have to get lost in the shuffle. Because the shuffle's been big. Yeah. <laughs> so what this means is that we do these four next week and then do the deliberative session under other business or convene a separate deliberative session, which probably doesn't have to be warned because it's not public. I think, I mean, I think we can go in under abatement hearings and do a deliberative session just under the hearings. Okay. The, I mean, it'd be like doing an executive session under another yeah. item. Yeah. So. Everybody happy with doing it? I don't know if you guys, so Tim's not. Available we'll next here. week, and I'm going to be remote. Which do it, but now with Tim not being here, will that deprive us of our council forum? Um, not if all four of y'all show up, then we're still good. Okay, I'll be here. Okay. Um, okay. That's four out of seven. That'll give us enough time for people that may be coming in later on too, because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we were, yeah, talking about, we've already got at least one big one who would have to be on the 28th if we, if we do the next one on the 28th, so. But they still haven't been, they still just haven't been coming in. Since we're here tonight, and it's 7.30, does it make sense to start some of the deliberative sessions tonight? Or do people want to get out of here? I was going to prepare some forms for you all that okay. might make it simpler. So you have reference to the answers to the questions. I think if I get the forms out and we make sure everybody's got a copy of the property cards, then you, you have the 
you'll have the answers to their questions, their tax payments, include you know before and after any prebate, and the square footage. All yes, there. Anybody missing property cars? I think I've made copies. I think everybody's got. I think I've got them. If not, we can I think get I've caught up. <laughs> yeah. There's so, been so much of this paperwork. You all have been great. I'm starting to lose my mind with it, and I can't imagine. I was also going to maybe a little bit out of order. The book we had for appeals, is this the point where we just recycle everything? Yeah. And yeah. turn in the notebooks to you or the. I need a new storage cabinet for all the notebooks. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I mean, you can bring it back to me. I don't have this. Um, I, I don't have, I don't know who it came from. And I don't have an email from Sarah that has it, so. Oh. Oh, you have one. So good. So yeah, so next uh, next week you will have that, uh, have all those forms, and so we should be able to just look right through them. Just go right through, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, as far as trying to organize it in the notebook, if I put everything back alphabetically, will we go through them then alphabetically, or...? I think so. Yeah, it'd be more or less alphabetical. Okay. It might be, it might be if somebody jumped out of line and moved, and that would be probably off. But I mean, we went through chronologically, that was. Yeah, and, and we don't have any, you know, all the ones that are related to uh, I can't afford it, or the weird things like uh, like the water claims, we de dealt with those on the night. So the only things we're left with are the flood damage ones. Well, I seems believe. Like, I mean, we I don't see how we can go alphabetically. We have to sort of go, I mean, we're doing it in a group, right? So we're going to have them all laid out. We're going to look at all the issues and see how they intersect, right? I mean, otherwise. Otherwise, there is no point to. There's no point in doing it as a group, yeah. Yeah, but I think we'll be. I mean, then we can go alphabetically once we decide how we're going to treat it, I suppose. But they're not all the same, right? I mean, we're, we want to make sure that we treat the same issues. Not way. so much that we treat it in the same way, but well, one thing about these is they seem to mostly at least have one criterion under the bill that we were looking for. So that might make them extremely easy if we just go through and mm -hmm. do a couple quarters off based on the assumption that the state's going to help us out. The state's only helping out with, crack, with uh, education, though. The city's still right. on the hook for the... Right. So we should make a decision whether we're still going to yeah. abate fully Which for the municipal, municipal right. portion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. That's, that's one, one big question. Uh, right. Are we abating municipal taxes at all, given the fact that it's coming directly out of city pockets as opposed to state pockets? But... But yeah. Okay. Uh, reset. Okay. We can adjourn at 7.33 p.m. Impressive.